Hey guys, today I wanted to do a continuation of my Best of Beauty 2011, and this is all of the hair and body care. A Redken Blonde Glam Shampoo and Conditioner. I just brought the conditioner out to show you because I bought like the biggest size on the planet. This is a thousand milliliters or 33.8 ounces. I got this at a beauty supply store and I think it was about 20 bucks. And look how big this is. I had the regular size of the shampoo and conditioner. I still have a bit of shampoo left, but I have no conditioner left. But I got that at the end of September, so I wash my hair every like two days. So yeah, they last a long time. They're really great quality, especially if you have blonde hair. They smell amazing. To me it smells like um, grapefruit and uh, like gumdrops. I know that sounds really weird. They smell really good though. Um, another shampoo that I've been using is the uh, John Frieda Color Renew Tone Correcting Shampoo. And this is my purple shampoo. And I use this about once a week. It's really good though. Yeah. Um, for random hair products. Let's see. One more. Um, I could probably get rid of every other hair product I have and just use these ones, which I should probably do. Um, my favorite mousse is the Trust My 24 Hour Body. I put this in and my hair is wet, obviously, and, um, yeah, it gives you body. I don't know if it lasts 24 hours, but if you just kind of, like, scrunch up your hair at the roots, then it looks really good, even if it's been about a day. This is a really cool product. It's the John Frieda Sheer Blonde Go Blonder Controlled Lighting Controlled Lightening Spray, and this is really good if you have um, like highlights or dyed blonde hair, or even if you have regular hair. <laughs> well, n like uncolored hair. You just spray this. Like you can do the bottoms if you want like an ombre hair, or you could do the tops if you want to hide your roots, and this actually works really well. And it doesn't go an orangey color, but I have kind of like dark blonde hair. If you had hair any darker than me, I probably wouldn't use that, just in case. My favorite hairspray is the Kenra Volume Spray, and this is super hold. It's not that, it's pretty strong, but I hold it far away from my head, so it's not crazy. And this lasts really well. I, one of my roommates has really fine hair. She has not very much hair at all, and it doesn't hold a curl very well. And I curled her hair and sprayed it with this, and it lasted the whole night. Like, we got home at like 1 in the morning, and her hair was perfect. And it doesn't make it crunchy as long as you don't hold it too close. Um, another thing I've discovered, not through the whole year, but I had tried samples and stuff of it, is the Moroccan oil. And everyone's talked about this for years. I got mine at a beauty supply store and it ended up being $30, which I think is a lot better than most places. So check it out if you are thinking about this. And you can use coupons and stuff. And yeah, I really like this. I think it's made a big difference in my hair. The ends are really healthy and strong. And I think that if you want to grow your hair longer, I think this would be a good product to invest in. Um, I don't think it will make your hair grow faster, but it'll make it stronger so it doesn't break off or anything. Um, this is my Paul Mitchell Smoothing Super Skinny Serum, and I really like this, especially if you blow dry your hair. If you pump this in first, it'll dry faster, so that's really cool. Um, another thing I forgot to include... And I don't know where it is. Um, I really like the heat protectant from Tresemme. And that's the one that I've been using the whole year pretty much. And I'd really recommend that. Uh, next. Oh, sorry. <laughs> one last hair thing. My Batiste Blush Dry Shampoo. I like this smell better than the original. I think there's like tropical and other stuff. I found this at Winter or Home Sense, but Winners and Home Sense are owned by the same people. And this is just a really good dry shampoo. I don't know if this would work that well if you have dark hair. They do have a dark hair version. I don't know if you can get it outside of the UK. 
But yeah, I got this I think for like six oh it's six ninety nine, which isn't that bad. And um I've seen it at Shoppers Drug Mart too, but I think it's a bit more expensive there. For makeup removal, I've been using this for a long time. It's like more than halfway gone. It's the Vichy 3-in-1 Purette Thermal. It's pretty much like a makeup remover. And this is the one you can use all over your face. There's one that's specifically for eyes, and I think that one will remove waterproof mascara too. Not totally sure. This is very similar to Bioderma, which is really hard to get your hands on and quite expensive when you do. I think they sell it at some places in, at Shoppers Drug Mart, but it's more than $20. And I don't think that any makeup remover is really worth that much money. I really like this though, and it's um, really good at removing makeup. And it doesn't sting my eyes or anything, and it says it's safe for contact lens wearers and I have contacts. Um, this is a really good product. It's the Duras and Langle Firming Eye Gel. This is kind of a really niche brand. You'd have to order it online. I think it's only in a couple states in the US. But um, this really works. It was so funny. There was one um, time when my boyfriend had really dark circles and I told him to use this and his eyes are really puffy. He puts it on and he's like, he never, he doesn't do anything for skincare. I think he has like a face wash and that's it. But he put this on his eyes and he was like, whoa, I've never actually heard of something that works like this. And so yeah, even boys like it. Um, the two, oh, my toner that I've been using is the Aroma Water from Lush. This smells really good. It smells like, um, rose petals and lavender and it doesn't have any alcohol so if you have dry skin well I don't think alcohol is good for anyone's skin to be honest um yeah but this is really nice and it smells good and I've actually this sounds weird but if you, if I haven't had like some kind of spray water to put on my face if it looks powdery I've used this by like holding it pretty far away and it works really well like it doesn't make my makeup come off or anything the two moisturizers I've been using are the uh, Yes to Cucumbers Soothing Daily Calming Moisturizer and this is hypoallergenic, paraben free, and 98% natural. It works really well. It's a really nice light, light moisturizer. It smells like cucumbers. I really like it. It doesn't have any SPF in it, so that's good and bad. So you'd have to put on um, sunscreen first in the daytime. My other one is Celestial, and I barely have any of this left. I don't know if you can see. Just like a little bit in the corner. I really like this. This smells amazing. I love the smell. It's vanilla almond milk and dove orchid. And this is really good for sensitive skin and dry skin. And it's pretty thick, so it would be good for winter. If you have normal to combination oily, they have something better than this for you. It's really nice for me. Um, my favorite self tanner. I haven't tried very many, so I want to do that next summer. This is the True Blue Spa Vitamin E Bronzing Self Tanning Lotion, and I've tried the the spray as well. I have that at my other house, but I like this one better. I think it does have sparkles in it. It smells really tropical and coconutty, but it does have a self tanning smell. Kind of can't get around that. Um, yeah, but you, if you don't want to be sparkly, you are going to have to shower in the morning after using this. But it's a really nice color. It's not super dark. That's kind of why I want to get into other ones, but this is a pretty good one. And it's not that expensive for a self tanner. I think it's around... Well, they usually have like buy one get one free or buy one half off. I think I got mine for like ten or twelve dollars. Um, my favorite cleanser for the year, which has made my bed all soggy because it was in the shower, is the Purity Made Simple by Philosophy. And this doesn't seem that exceptional until you've used it for a while. When I first got it, I was kind of like, whatever. What's the big deal? It's just removes your makeup. It smells pretty good. It's like a good cleanser, 
but it's really hard to find a cleanser that rem remove your makeup without like irritating your eyes or like your skin or not doing a very good job and I think this is really good. It says it's for all skin types. It re replaces your makeup remover, eye makeup remover, face facial cleanser, and toner. I have dry skin and I think that I definitely would need a moisturizer after this. I think it would make my skin really tight if I didn't. If you have oily skin, maybe like a really light moisturizer. But this is really good and it's on the pricey side. I got mine during the no, I didn't get it during the friends and family, but that would be a good idea. And I use this little scrubby thing from the L'Oreal 360 cleanser, and I love this thing. Like, I would actually probably repurchase the cleanser just to get another one of these if I lost it. Just as, like, little scrubby things. So, yeah. And so that kind of takes the place of, like, using a scrub on my face. Um, favorite body moisturizer is the Vaseline... Cocoa butter, deep conditioning, whatever lotion. This is totally empty. Like, I don't have anything left. Right now I'm using the Vanilla Bean Noel from the Body Shop. Or Bath & Body Works. I really like this, but I like this better and it's cheaper. This is seasonal, too. I like the triple moisture creams way better than, like, the regular lotions. Just randomly. Another Bath & Body Works product is the Coconut Lime Breeze Super Scrub supercharged body scrub. This smells really good. It's a really good scrub, especially if you do self tanning and stuff like that. There's not much to say about it. It works. Uh, second last thing, uh, Bath & Body Works candles. They're the Slatkin & Co. This one's Toasted Pepper Pistachio Delight, which is a really weird kind of concept, but I haven't used it that much. I really like all of them. I just have lying around gingerbread. They kind of get smoky on this side. Vanilla caramel, which is almost done. Over here I have a summer one. This is pink sangria. It smells really good. I just got like ash in my face or something now. Um, yeah, those are really good candles. I always get them when they're two for twenty-five or whatever. One random last thing, um, razors. So these are the ones that I use that I actually really like. They're Simply Venus. I don't know. They have three blades. Whatever. These are really good. These are terrible. Don't buy these. I bought them because I ran out of the other ones and I actually, like, I shaved my legs and they were, like, covered in cuts. And I'm not that bad at shaving my legs, you know what I mean? And these are always on sale. They're always cheaper than the Venus ones, but never buy these. Just take my word for it. The very last thing is um, Lush soaps. I've used a lot of them this year. I don't really like body wash that much. I don't know. Even when I'm like shaving my legs or something, I use soap. Um, I just have a stash here kind of crazy. I like to stock up during the Boxing Day sale because they're all half price. Um, I also have some bath bombs and stuff. This is comforter. <laughs> it's all broken up. I really like um, all the bath bombs and stuff. Definitely try to go on Boxing Day next year I guess. This one is Demon in the Dark. It's really like, I think it's apple juice and peppermint. This is a really good one for guys. I really like it too though. It's really like strong though. Vanilla in the Mist, which is one of my favorites. Uh, this is um, like vanilla latte scent. It's just like amazing. There's actual vanilla beans in it, which is really cool. I don't know if you can see. I plastic wrap them because I think that if you keep them in the packaging, it kind of like loses the smell. This one I think is sea vegetable, and it's like like a calming one. It has like lavender and I don't know, a little bit citrusy too. This one is snow globe, which is a limited edition Christmas smell. They always come out with it again though. This one I think is citrus too. Those are all of my uh, hair and body favorites. I hope you enjoyed. Leave me any requests below. Some kind of running out of ideas. But yeah, 
my blog and Twitter are down below, and thanks for watching. Bye!